have the base cut which is been roughly roughly but there are some upper circuits here you just have to prosecute the base cut so that it can be fixed properly Displayed by the screen, it shows that the the power now is eventually fine, but the sufficient voltage which normally have to pass through the secondary side of the board is not giving in. Probably, probably all the voltages inside the secondary part of the board, board now just have to troubleshoot the components that I know they have to work for that. Now, regularly the board is eventually hot because it's receiving supply and and here you still have to read the voltages given by the transformer with all the spins they have uh, 110 voltages and we have um, 15 and we have 24 the 24 vo uh, 24 volt goes for the horizontal side and the 110 goes for the flyback, which the flyback boosted up to become 600 volt. So now the voltages now I don't know if actually all the voltages are coming to the secondary side of the board from the primary to the secondary because I just troubleshoot the primary that I remove the small signal transistor which is the one doing causing voltages not to supply. So for us to troubleshoot it we just have to use a um, multimeter to understand or the analog meter to understand what is wrong in the circuit. So by the way I will use the analog meter which I use, I arrange the analog meter here at 50, 50 volt. I arrange it at 50 volt. So from 50 volt, I know I can read the range of voltages that can go here. Reading it. Sweet. 
switching the power on. Switching the power on, which comes on with the sensor light, verifying, put my black pin at the negative side. There is supply flowing here. You can see, reading the AC side, you can see how the, the meter ranges on the back down. So, we walk back with our car. Yeah. Uh -huh. 